I'm calling out all the parents. If you're a parent and your child is in pre-K to elementary school, elementary school to high school, I'm calling you out. The children today, I have never experienced, and I'm, I'm 22. Having to teach and work with you guys as children has been the most traumatic experience of my life. I teach five-year-olds ballet, five-year-old girls ballet. I have a class of 10 students. They don't respect any authority. You ask them, can you stand in your designated spot? They're telling you no and shut up. They're throwing things at each other. They're throwing things at other people, other classmates. You say, can everybody sit in their spot? I don't want to, I'm not doing that. You don't get to tell me what to do. You're not my mom. You confront the parent. The parent tries to argue with you and fuss at you because you tried to reprimand and redirect their kid. I told a young little girl, please sit in your spot. You're not my mom, you don't tell me what to do. Okay. When her mom came to pick her up, I said, hey, your daughter's having a hard time following instructions and seven times today i've had to redirect her to just sit in her spot well clearly she didn't want to sit and mind you this is a mom clearly she didn't want to fucking sit right there so i mean if she telling you she don't want to do something why keep asking her to do it you know she's not going to do it what world do we live in like what in you guys's brain as a parent says hmm my kid not following any directions is a, is a great thing it's not that serious and y'all don't have a right to tell her what to do it's sad it's sad it's really really sad and another thing that's heart-wrenching is horrifying it is horrifying your five-year-old daughters are asking to listen to pound town and ski -yi. your daughters your five-year-old daughters are asking can we hear pound town i'm playing them princess tiana ballet music and they are asking me can we hear pound <laughs> I don't know what to do I don't know what to do and I'm so scared for these little girls today because this is the most insane insane agenda push I have ever seen in my life we do freeze dance you guys as daughters are twerking at five five where is the parenting where is the boundaries where is the help y'all are not helping your kids you're hurting them you guys are hurting them i come every day dress ready to go and i'm in school too i'm in college i mean i put bows in my hair i'm wearing leotards i i'm trying to get them interested in in like proper things for their age and you guys are exposing your kids to this raunchy secular music why is you guys this five-year-old's daughter singing pound town And it's just really, 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 it's upsetting. And I feel so bad. And I, I, I've watched different techniques, soft skills, soft parenting, gentle parenting. I'm patient. I don't, you know, I don't yell. I'll say, hey, you know, let's regroup. If you guys need five minutes, let's do some breathing. Your kids are telling me to shut up. You guys as kids are saying, I don't want to do that. I'm not doing that. You're not my mom. They're putting their hand, they're hitting each other and hitting other kids. You address the parent. The parents are telling you, you don't tell my daughter what to do. It's not that bad. Well, at least she was in the class. At least, at least, at least it's all these excuses. Y'all come in and you're more worried about what's going on on your Instagram and TikTok feed versus being a parent. Be a fucking parent. You guys are horrible fucking parents. Like, I'm sorry to say it, but this generation of some of mom, some of the mom, not all, not all, but majority that I've dealt with, with kids that are between the ages of five and four and three, you guys don't parent.
parent your children at all. They have no basic comprehension skills. They can't sit still. No attention span. They're hitting people. They can't talk. They can't communicate. They don't even know how to say, like, I want to go to the bathroom. If you ask them a question, they're, they're rude, nasty, horrible attitudes at five. And they want to hear pound town. What are you guys doing with your kids? What are you guys literally doing with your kids? Because I have never in my life experienced something so horrible. I literally don't even want to teach ballet to you guys' kids anymore because they are so hard to work and deal with. And I see, I literally see why the teachers are quitting and your kids are getting expelled and kicked out because it's no way it is literally no way that this is happening and you guys don't see any issue with it i tell you your kid hit someone and you're saying well what the fuck did the little bitch do to my daughter to make her want to hit nothing literally nothing your daughter just decides she she wants to put her hands on people and you don't correct her you're yelling at me asking me why does she feel like she wants to hit what parenting is happening you guys are worried about seafood boils and dates and fucking like partying and being a hot mom you guys are shitty moms and it needs a change stop listening to sexy red around your children talk to your kid interact with them teach them listen to them teach them to respect authority don't say you don't have to listen to anyone unless they're me your kids are so horrible and hard to deal with and i'm blaming the parents because they have horrible guidance and it needs to be a change and i'm asking I don't can somebody's mom stitch me and say like what the holdup is what is the issue why are you listening to raunchy music around your kids why is it that you have to deal with certain people and be rude about it why can nobody correct your kid or help them get on a better track and why do you guys approve and applaud bad behavior why 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 because i'm telling you all the teachers that are good and have genuine interest in building your kid i want to help them i want to help these little girls realize that they are precious that they have purpose that they're beautiful that they're smart and intelligent and that they can be somebody not i don't want to see little five-year-olds trying to twerk to pound town and you guys think that it's cute and i'm coming on here because it needs to be a change so please tell me as an educator a teacher and i'm not i'm just a ballet teacher i'm not a regular trained institutional teacher i'm teaching five-year-olds ballet and these are all the problems starting now and it's no change happening so what needs to be done and happen to fix this issue please somebody tell me somebody make it make sense because i'm telling you i'm this close to quitting and saying I'd never want to work with people's kids again because this has been the most horrible experience. I've literally, I've never dealt with an experience like this. Listening to raunchy music around your kids needs to stop. Applauding bad behavior needs to stop. Not giving your kid your attention but throwing an iPad at them or a tablet because you don't want a parent needs to stop. I'm coming on here and I'm begging you guys. I'm asking you to really please make a change. Make a change. Your kids' lives are depending on it for y'all to make a change. Please make a change.